news is real. What is Jessica Larry? Jessica Robin Moore. Jess don't do no lie. Jess is gonna bring you numbers. Jess with the mess. I need this real. On the Breakfast Club. I know they know the difference. Keep it a stack. <laughs> that wasn't my newest intro, but thanks for bringing that one back. Um, <laughs> Lord Dirk opens up about a rehab journey. So an interview of Lord Dirk is circulating. Shout out to Bat Grid and Brown Girl Grinding. Um, and this is what he had to say. We got word that you were you were in rehab. Yeah. Can we talk about that a little bit? No, like, we good. We good. I'm I'm, um, I'm gonna embrace it. You know what I'm saying? Because it helped me a lot. Helped you a lot. Yeah. So I, I want people to not run from it or be shot from it. You know what I'm saying? What was that like for you? I won't even say it was tough at first. It was tough at first, but it ain't, it ain't that tough because I really knew what I wanted. You know what I'm saying I knew what was holding me back. And, and what was that? What What did you want? I wanted better. You know what I'm saying I wanted to be a better man, a better father, a better leader. You know, so but more action. So yeah. I got to make sure that self is good before you know anybody else. But before rehab, huh? what was your mental state like? Moving fast, making excuses, letting um, the drugs take over me. You drugs? Know what I'm saying? Yeah, just like the codeine and everything. Just. Is that is that what it was, was codeine? Yeah, Xanax. But it don't make me, you know what I'm saying? Dropping the clues bonds for a little dark, man. We Absolutely. Love to see black men healing and That's hopefully right. uh, the rest of the generation follows. Lil Dirk's lead. Um, yeah. Nobody actually knew huge, that he was in rehab. Because he has a huge influence with the yeah. youth and the fact that they see that his one of his idols, one of mm -hmm. their idols is actually, you know, trying to get better and being mm -hmm. better and going to rehab and taking care of himself, his mental and his health. Yeah. He's been, he, he been talking about that. His last yeah. album was called, what, Almost Healed? Almost Healed. Mm -hmm. Almost Healed, yeah. And, um, yeah, man, just salute to that, brother. That's a great uh, great thing to say during men's mental health month, man. Yeah, so, yeah. So, and he dark. checked himself mm -hmm. into rehab when he realized he needed help, you know, so I think yep. that's, that was good that he had the willpower to do that. Um, Kendrick announced his upcoming performance. So Kendrick said he outside yesterday. He calmly dropped a post in his Instagram story announcing that he'll be doing a show in L.A. Uh, June 19th. The event is called Ken and Friends, but he didn't reveal who any of the friends will be. The pre-sale tickets go on sale today and they become available to the general public public tomorrow meanwhile drake deleted all his kendrick disses from instagram so people thought like he was moving on from the beef um from the beef or whatever but then he shared a picture of himself with the caption that said the only yes man around me is my rolex dealer okay uh people think the caption is addressing the fact that kendrick questioned the loyalty and strength of uh, I, drake's crew let but. me tell you something man mm -hmm. juneteenth mm -hmm. at the forum in la mm -hmm. kendrick lamar Crazy. Performing not like us for the Crazy. first time. Mm -hmm. That's God, bro. I'm like sorry, that's a, like that's one of those things that you might you might have to get on a flight to go see. I'm, mm -hmm. yes. If you can get tickets, I'm sure it's probably sold out by Listen, now. Listen, I tickets on sale tomorrow, right? I, yeah, the the right the presale tickets are already on sale. They're gonna be today, sold out in two minutes. Gonna, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I know. I said I can't fly. Why? Like I can't fly no more. I'm going to leave the stomach home, and I'm going to go. <laughs> like, I, I got, really would love to go. I would love to go, too. I got to be in L.A. on the 14th for a book signing, but I would I would fly back out there for that. Juneteenth, yeah. Kendrick Lamar, black-ass Kendrick Lamar yes. on Juneteenth doing Not Like Us? Yes. Can you imagine Kendrick saying to a crowd of black people, y'all can't say nigga, nigga no, no more? more. <laughs> I don't know, man. Biracials, y'all might want to stay home for that one. Home. Man. Yeah. I don't know. That's mm. Juneteenth. That's going to be blackity black, black in there. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Hopefully, we do get there. We're able to go and see that. Uh, Adrian Bronner threatens opponents. So, Adrian Bronner set the fight. Um, Blair Cobbs on June 7th, uh, actually tomorrow, at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Florida. And they did their final press conference before the fight. Um, things got crazy. Oh, don't play no games. Because my got guns with them bro and and i'm dead serious bro and all i got to do is point and they gonna blow and me and my we didn't already beat bodies and they still looking for me and every charge been acquitted my so don't come up here playing don't don't make no false moves i'm not playing i'm not you know I'm, I'm not playing i will smack the shit out you my <laughs> so we go, we gonna promote the fight but be, just be respectful don't do no dumb shit. and I'm, I'm serious bro I, i'm dead serious my shoot you in your shit. You ain't about none of that. You's a bitch, boy. He's June. Angry. I'ma show you June seventh, my. He's angry. You big mad. I'ma beat that shit off your nails, boy. You use the physical fucking fat, boy. Is he fighting the game, man? Jesus. Yeah. During Pride Month. During Pride, what's up? That's crazy. Hopefully he don't get beat the beat up. The dude is really. He is for real. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it sounds like it, right? Yeah, and oh. I would love to see that. Is he? <laughs> like, yeah. You can't just throw the just throw that on him if we don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know either. Allegedly, but yeah, he's uh, allegedly. How literal do we take Adrian Broner? Because I, you know, I saw like media ite posting things like he put, he put potentially a, a, admitted to the murder. But I'm like, I grew up with Mike Tyson talking crazy before <laughs> fights. 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, Mike Tyson mm-hmm. said he'll eat a couple of kids, but I'll he never said he never I'll said he killed somebody. I'll f you yeah. in the butt till you love me. Yeah, but <laughs> okay. not some ever people like, rather be dead, <laughs> <laughs> or some people are like it. You but just not ever. Know. I got bodies that they still looking for me for. Like what? Shut up! What I mean, are you talking about? I and then they always do, and they get beat up somewhere, and then be on <laughs> on online talking. Oh yeah, I did it for the hood. No, you didn't. You didn't even do it. Damn. <laughs> My gosh. Remember when Deontay Wilder said he wanted to kill somebody in the ring? Boxes talk crazy, so I'm just wondering how literal should we take Adrian Broner? And then ring. if it wasn't Adrian Broner, would we be taking it literally? If anybody did that, we'll say he's a fool. I don't just, know. Just There's no difference. Like, you sound crazy. I got bodies I beat. That I got to quit it for. Ryan Garcia was talking crazy before yeah. his fight. Boxers talk crazy before their fights. Yeah, yeah. well, that, I do remember Devin Haney's father like, my son better kill him. Kill him. And Devin was looking at him like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, that's what boxers yeah. do. Boxers talk crazy before fights. I don't know how literal we should take Adrian Brown. Should we take it as anything other than entertainment? But why would you shoot him? Cause you're gonna get beat out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why exactly. you gonna shoot me? Yeah. I just want to like, fight. Now, no. if Adrian actually does have bodies, that's stupid. <laughs> that's like rap, right? right like, right. A, like a rapper putting it in his ears. So if he actually does have bodies, that's stupid. Has he ever really been acquitted of a body? I don't know. I never heard of that. We never Did ever you? heard of that. Never. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But like the other dude just want to fight. I just, I just want to fight. That's I don't want to get shot. You big man. Like <laughs> all I want to do is fight you. Like. <laughs> Uh, AB, you better win that fight, boy. You better. Because if you lose that fight, remember when you humped on that dude in the ring that time? <laughs> Sound like that dude might do the same to you. <laughs> remember that time when Adrian Brona humped on the dude in the ring? Oh, man, I do. That's right. Oh, so you man. better win that fight, AB. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, because that guy right there sounded like he wanted to go a little humping Definitely around. can't come back to the hood. <laughs> uh-uh. All right, well, that is just with the mess. You're going to hit below the belt, too. <laughs> he ain't playing. He ain't fighting for <laughs> When we come back, we got front page news, and then Marlon Wayans will be joining us this the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.